So, in this video, we're going to learn um, a proper way for risk management. Basically, I'm going to show you how to risk all your trades whenever you're taking a trade. You know, I know they always say use proper risk management, and at the very same time, they are not showing you a proper way to risk your trade. But here, I'm just going to show you how to properly risk your trade, right? So, as you can see here, I have an account of, for example, $1,000. I have a $1,000 here. This is just uh, in this sheet, it's 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 math type of thing. It has been calculated by using this formula sum. It's equals to whatever, whatever. So, some of the things don't mind, but I will explain them. How does that amount came to place? You get what I'm saying? So, as you can see here, we have like a uh, $1,000 account, right? Let's say you have a $1,000 account. It can be $100, $10,000, $50,000, any amount you want to invest with. You get what I'm saying? You can just put a $1,000 a month. And then the first thing, whenever, before you even take a trade, before you take a trade, what you think of, it's how much money you're willing to risk in that trade. You don't look at uh, how big is the stop loss, how to, whatever, whatever. No, you look at how much money you're willing to risk in the trade. So, for example, here it's a thousand dollar, right? For me, I want to risk seventy dollar, right? So I can put seventy dollar here, right? And say, you know what? I want to risk seventy dollar, and then I will write it down wherever I'm going to write it. I'll say seventy dollar. That's my risk, right? And then the second thing you look at, it's your stop loss. How big is your stop loss? That's where you. That's when you look at the stop loss. So as you can see here, I just wrote two hundred and seventy. But for example, let's say your 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 stop loss points are. Let's for example, let's say two hundred and fifty points, right? 250 points my stop loss so for me it surely for me it shows that i have to risk my lot size needs to be 0 0.28 for me to risk 70 dollar in the thousand dollar account by a risk of 250 points do you get what i'm saying so whenever you take this let's say it goes on the negative once it reach your stop loss you're gonna lose 70 dollars Somehow, somehow you're gonna risk you're gonna risk the seventy dollar and dollar or somehow you'll risk the seventy three dollar seventy four dollar depending on the spread right but I will advise you that if you want to risk the seventy dollar just go in and say sixty five dollar you get what I'm saying just say I want to risk sixty five dollar so that you will risk that so that it will add up with a spread and you will risk seventy dollar right. And then your points here, your lot size, and then you calculate your lot size based on spread, I mean stop loss, and your risk amount. And then some people like mostly Instagram people, Instagram traders, and all these other people who are blowing their accounts, they always come in and put a lot of trades, and you will look at their accounts and they'll be like, yo, this guy is making a lot of money. But hey, that's how they trade some of them they use proper risk management some of them they don't but for you if you want to put a lot of trades you can just put the number of trades how many trades do you want out of this lot size and then you will divide this amount based on the number of trades you want and then you will get your how many lots and how many trades you want to trade right as, as you can see if i say five here the lot size here will grow you see the lot size now grows to 0 0.5 because now i'm having five trades but if i just want to trade i will just trade 0 0.18 each trade for me it's equals to 0 0.26 that means i will risk 65 dollars that's equivalent to 70 dollar including spread so in my amount I will risk how much? $70. That means I will now be left with $930. So that's how basically you risk your trades. You just you don't just go in and say, you know what? Uh, I'll just okay, you know what? I have this trade. I'm willing to risk $30. I will wait for it to drop until $30 until I close the trades. And 
sometimes the market moves faster than a lightning and you will think you're gonna hold that dirty dollar and it will just go in in just in just two minutes while you are while you are busy with something else and the market is just out there making things worse for you so it's properly that you you basically risk your trades properly risk your trades properly if someone else is doing a video longer than mine that means that person is basically doing something else but this is the only the only proper risk management thing you need to do just look at the stop loss your profit it's you don't look at that don't look at the profit look at the stop loss you know the amount you want to risk how many points your stop loss is after analyzing your charts right and then you divide that to get your lot size to get what i'm saying and then take that lot size divide it by how many trades you want but if you want this document i will i will put it in the description below where you will download it for free and you can easily put it but it's something that anyone can do it without even having this document just know how much you want to risk and then look at how long is the stop loss and then you can calculate your lot, your lot size based on that and then you can put your trades how many trades you want to place and then you can have lot size for how many trades you want to place so that's was your boy see you on the next peace out